progress on this 61. Did my uh, thing on how to do the body work on the fenders uh, earlier. Didn't catch that one. Uh, so anyway, I just ran through, roughed these in pretty nice, and they're pretty smooth, not much. That one's pretty tight. This one's got a little wave to it, but that's okay. A lot of people expect to get their Bondo or their plastic filler perfect, um, and then they do it five or six times. I think I did this once, mostly. And I went over it once, and then there was a low spot right here. So I put another coat over the low spot. In fact, I used polyester glazing over that. Then I just hit it with 40. Then I went to 150 and just kind of knocked down the scratches. Um, yeah, this is the right fender. It's an original fender, but it was from a newer year, so which is cool. It's original fender, or better metal. Um, then this one here is pretty bad. This had all that. Had a bunch of holes right here that I welded up. Then, you know, I've done all that over the, I did all the welding in one day. All the welding I just did in a few hours. Then worked on this for a few hours today is all. And then I got this fender done. So there's a little tiny bit of wave, mostly metal finish right here. Just, just a little, there's about the thickness of a coat of primer really right there. And this is maybe the most an eighth of an inch it looks moundy but it's not it it's it's not much so again the same thing there's a little wave going on there and a lot of people sit there and they sit there and they go i can feel something so they keep putting more bondo on and sanding it back off and usually it's it's fine the rest is primer so when you guide coat and you, you prime and guide coat that's when you find the rest of it that's especially if you use a polyester primer that's nice heavy primer when you're doing restoration that's a good way to do it um, they or you can use the uh, the other stuff that they call DTM. Uh, that one's good too. Everybody calls it DTM, but it's actually urethane primer. Is what it is. So um, not not epoxy primer. <laughs> I put epoxy primer on this, but that is not the product you use to to level and finish something. It's it, it loads up on the sandpaper. I don't even know. I think I have to let this thing sit for like a month before I can even really sand it once I'm done. But I got this one all ground down. It's got plastic filler kind of lined up over the metal. I'm over the, this is all ground to bare metal. There's a little plastic filler overfill that has to come off. You cannot have plastic on paint anywhere. And that's not rusted down there where I ground it. It's all bare metal. So I got that one done. Got to do my holes. Clean them out when I get done. I just ran some plastic over here, got it all straightened out pretty good. Got this fender all looking pretty good. Just put some on there, let it stick, sit there and dry. I might sand on this a little bit more, but I'm not sure. Um, I think I might just shoot those fenders with primer and call it good. But uh, so that's the progress on the 61 there for the fenders. Easily, I could do these in one day if I had a whole day to do it. Um, all four fenders wouldn't be a problem. Probably about another hardest problem is drying time. The weather's not the greatest right now, so. Um, but you could you could do this, do all four fenders in one day if you you put the screws to it a little bit. It wouldn't be that hard. And like I said, I don't look about hour this morning, hour and a half, two hours maybe, two hours this afternoon, so maybe four hours, and then you know priming it whenever that takes. 10 minutes. All right. See you guys later.